What have you learned from your audience feedback? Let's see what the results are. From our audience feedback, we learned that some of the footage and editing techniques we liked, our target audience did not like. Since we will be catering to our audience, we thought it would be best to take on board what our audience wants. Firstly, we had to establish who our target audience are and a brief background on their particular choice of films. In order to avoid bias towards gender, we asked 10 females and 10 males to take part in our questionnaire. From the idea we had, we thought that our teaser trailer would mostly appeal to our male audience as it is a lead male character. Also, the genre of our idea also appealed to the majority of our male audience. Out of the 20 people we gave our questionnaire to, we found that the majority of the group we asked were aged from 15 to 20, which gave us a basis of our target audience. This played a major part in our overall teaser trailer, as our idea had to be suited for our target audience. To improve our idea on what our target audience wants, we asked our audience if they have seen any of the four films we had chosen based around our genre. The films we had chosen were based around a rough idea we had for our teaser trailer in which two of the films are our inspirational films. Overall, from, from our questionnaire, we found the main points we needed to know for our target audience and we could begin to construct an idea based around this information. In addition to this, our first idea that we pitched to our target audience had both positive and negative impacts. The reason why the first pitch was very helpful to our group was because it allowed us to recognise what our target audience wants to see now that they have a brief understanding of our idea. From this we learnt new ideas that our target audience has suggested to us. Our target audience did not like the idea of a cabin and gave us an idea of an island. We took on board this idea and researched a local location that we knew that had a man-made beach and a forest. When we started to film our teaser trailer, we found that this location worked perfectly for our main idea of our teaser trailer. Throughout the course of our production, we took the time to allow our target audience to watch the footage we had, giving us a chance to hear any more ideas or suggestions. The effectiveness of these viewings is that it gave us an idea of what new footage we had to, we needed to film for our next trip to our location. We also learned from our target audience that the way we used the green screen was not clear as our presenter was covering most of the contestants in the back which meant that we had to refilm this. One of the main changes that we made to our teaser trailer was the additional characters. Since our teaser trailer only consisted of three characters our target audience suggested that the TV show should send three masked characters to the island to build up the tension and sense of race against time. This idea from our target audience pushed our idea into becoming a tenser teaser trailer and also building the sense of adventure connotating with our genre. Through our audience feedback, there was a divided opinion on whether the presenter should speak or have a soundtrack playing over. Initially, we were going to use a soundtrack over our presenter. However, after the criticism, we learned that it was much clearer to the audience to have a voiceover to emphasize it is a game show. After posting our teaser trailer, we decided as a group to gather further feedback. Do you think our teaser trailer fits the connotations of our action adventure genre? Yes, I believe it does fit the connotations of the action adventure genre as the shots move from slow pace to fast pace, showing progression in the genre during the teaser trailer. Also, the different shot angles connote the genre to fit the teaser trailer. But overall, I feel the trailer was quite successful. The majority liked the progression of the teaser trailer going from slow pace to fast pace. From this feedback, if we were to redo our teaser trailer, we would change the cliffhanger to a more dramatic ending to suit our genre even more. How did you use media technologies in the construction and research, planning and evaluation stages? Who will be answering our final question? In our media production, we use a whole range of different technologies varying from hardware to software. We use these types of technology throughout all stages from pre-production to post-production of our media product. In the pre-production of our media product, which included the research and planning stages, we didn't use a variety of technology. However, we did use both hardware and software materials. The two main technologies for pre-production we used was the camera and the Mac. We used the internet to collect secondary images of our inspirational films we wanted to analyse and posters of the films we looked at. We also used Microsoft Word and Excel to present our questionnaire and the results. In the planning section, most of our images were primary images that we took of our mise-en-scene. For example, we took pictures of the costumes our characters would be wearing, the setting and location of where the film would be set, 
and the props we use, which will be used in our teaser trailer. The reason we took pictures of our setting and location was because when I went to Ricelip Lido, I wanted to show my group what it looked like. Ricelip Lido was best suited for our teaser trailer, as it looked like an isolated island. This was a reoccurring convention when we looked at similar films as they were all set in abandoned areas. In the production of our teaser trailer, both hardware and software played a significant role. Hardware materials we used were a camcorder, tripod and the green screen. We tried to experiment with the camcorder angles to create more effective shots. The tripod was especially used to get high angle shots. Using the tripod helped us reach a professional level as our footage was steady and had different angles and shots. The green screen was used when the host was talking in front of the screen. In the post-production stage, we mainly used the software Final Cut Pro. We also used the internet to rip the items and audience preview screen. As mentioned above, we used a green screen in the production stage. However, we had to cut out the background as we wanted to replace the background with a screen showing some footage we had filmed of our characters. To get rid of the green in the background, we used an effect called chroma key. The chroma key is a digital technique by which the colour green in our footage can be replaced by another footage of the characters to make it look like our audience were watching a reality TV show. Our two main tools used throughout the post-production stage was blade and trim. We used the blade tool so we can split our footage and audio clip in two or remove a segment of our clip. This tool gave us the option to pick and choose certain parts of the clip we wanted to show in our teaser trailer. The trim tool was as important as the blade tool as we could trim clips without splitting the clip in two, as this would leave gaps. Transitions is a technique we use in the post-production process for our teaser trailer by which two clips are combined. The transitions we mainly use were dissolves and fades. This was to convey a tone or mood or separate parts of the story. We wanted to separate our teaser trailer into three sections. The beginning which showed and explained the reality TV show. The middle shows where bad events were occurring this was also split by the use of titles to explain what the next clip is about. The end of the teaser trailer portrays when everything becomes worse. As events would get worse, we wanted the speed of our clips to match. Therefore, near the end of our teaser trailer, the clips would increase in pace and cut quickly to the next. We increased and decreased the motion of some of our clips by clicking the retiming tool and select either slow or fast and adjust how fast or slow we wanted the clip. Retiming the clips created a dramatic effect and increased the tension of our teaser trailer. Visual and sound effects used were essential in our teaser trailer as this would create a different atmosphere and mood. The fonts we used on the titles were very noticeable. It was called bad TV transmission. This was used to create a fuzzy effect suggesting an uneasy atmosphere. We also used bad TV behind the host to show they recorded the characters to get their injection. This was also used to create the same effect. All clips had a slight effect called cast. This created a dirty green look with a cold blue tint at the back to make it look dark. We also used another effect called camcorder. This showed that the characters were being watched. There are two types of sound used, diegetic and non-diegetic. The diegetic sound was when the host was speaking. Near the end, when she finished talking, the sound changed and became non-diegetic voiceover. The non-diegetic sound was the soundtrack used. We also had three soundtracks which helped break our clip into the three sections we wanted as mentioned earlier. The soundtrack helped by enhancing the dark atmosphere as the tension increased. As our clips were short and fast, we had to edit to sound. In order for it to flow, we had to use fade handles so we could have the soundtrack fade in and out, especially when changing one soundtrack to another. Trial and error was very important as we could experiment and find new techniques and effects for our teaser trailer. In the evaluation stage, both hardware and software materials were used. Hardware materials we used was a camcorder and the green screen. Software technology was vital as we edited our evaluation on Final Cut Pro. To make our evaluation relate back to our teaser trailer, we showed our clip of our teaser trailer as evidence on what we were talking about. Our evaluation consisted mainly of primary images we took of our work. We split the screen to contrast and compare our own product with our ancillary text.